I recently upgraded the computer that runs our house. In this video and company webpage, I'll show you some of the details and tricks that I learned in this process. Now, there are lots of options for small form factor low power PCs like Apple's Mac Mini. Now, the one I got is from Intel. It's called the Nook, NUC. This stands rather ambitiously for the next unit of computing. Uh, now, this old notebook that is what I had been running, or netbook rather, uh, worked okay, but it was a bit slow for some of the more CPU intensive tasks I wanted to run. And the Nook uses even less power, um, 15 watts for that netbook, and the Nook is 7 watts under low load. Now, it comes in this fancy box. Uh, it's got brand reinforcements, little, little uh, light sensor with uh, circuitry. Uh, now they sell this in a variety of CPU flavors, starting from um, Celeron, which is the low end at $150, to this one, which I got, which is a $350 i5 Haswell. Now they all come without storage. Um, I added 8GB uh, RAM, one stick, it has two stick slots, and a 240GB SSD drive. Uh, so the total cost was just a bit over $500. I have links to the parts I used on the web page. Uh, it has four USB ports, two in the front, two in the back, uh, along with the uh, display port and HDMI for video and Ethernet. Uh, there's an older version of uh, this box, which is short, even shorter. Uh, if you don't want the two and a quarter inch hard drive, uh, that's what you might get, although it's the same price. Um, this has a slot for the drive, which I'm not using yet. Uh, now I keep the nook over in its nook. Let's see what it did there. Uh, over here, and uh, it hooks directly up to the um, Ethernet hub over there. I avoided the Wi-Fi for a couple of reasons. One is uh, it's a little bit more reliable and faster with the um, hardwired uh, Ethernet, and it's also even less power. Uh, one of the tricks that I learned is this uh, display um, emulator. I have the link to it in the notes. What that allows you to do is to pick whatever display size you want to uh, use on your um, VNC session. So this guy sits in the corner over here. And I VC, VNC to it from over there. If I ever need to hook to it directly, I can just take uh, this Bluetooth keyboard adapter from Logitech and plug it in over there. And then put in a uh, HDMI or DisplayPort cable over to here. And I can control it directly without moving it. But normally what I do is I leave it over there and we have... Uh, VNC setup. So you can see here uh, if I do the VNC button, uh, I've got a nice big screen where I got uh, editor and display consoles. And uh, this runs really fast. For example, you can see an MH reload or a MH uh, Mr. House restart. It's just you know, less than a second. It boots in about uh, 10 seconds. So it's amazingly fast. Um, okay, I think that's will be it for now. I'll have a, do another video on another cool thing that I recently added, which is a network-attached um, TV tuner. Uh, so stay tuned for that.